In this video you're going to learn Queen Bee mating flight. I'm Sarah and this channel is dedicated to support your side hustle of beekeeping helping you to keep healthier beads and make fewer mistakes. And today we're going to discuss Queen Bee nuptial flight. During her second week of life she will mate with up 15 drones while in flight. The drone dies immediately after mating occurs. The queen will store the semen from the drones and will not mate again for the rest of her life even if she runs out of sperm. If she runs out, she will lay drones. A queen mates during the first one to two weeks of her adult life. She can take multiple mating flights and mated with several males, on average 12 to 15. Increasing the genetic diversity of the colony is important for colony productivity and disease resistance. Throughout most of her life, the queen's job is to lay eggs. However, early in a queen's life, she makes several mating flights. On these flights, she mates, in midair, with anywhere from 1 to more than 40 drones. The average number of drones with which a queen mates is 12. The ejaculation is so powerful that it ruptures the endophilus, disconnecting the drone from the queen. The bulb of the endophilus is broken off inside of the queen during mating, so drones mate only once, and die shortly after. Drone bees live with one purpose in mind, mating with a queen. When they're lucky enough to achieve it, it only lasts a few seconds, and they die immediately afterward. Because their penis and abdominal tissues are violently ripped from the body as part of the process. Death by mating when a drone mates with a queen and releases his semen. It happens with such a force that his endophilus is ripped from his abdomen. When his abdomen rips open he usually dies shortly after. When a drone mates with a queen he generally won't survive. Thanks for watching like comment share the video subscribe our YouTube channel press bell icon. Bye! Take care see you with a new video until then stay tuned with Canadian Apiary.